What the hell? I swear you try to do a quick little video intro and it all goes to crap. Hey friends, the other day in the Adobe forum, I saw a really interesting question. The question was, how do I locate offline media inside of a project? What he was really asking was, how do you find a offline media clip in your timeline? And to find it quickly and easily without having to scrub through his complicated editing sequence. I suspect what he was really looking for was whether or not the offline video clip that he has was actually used in his timeline somewhere. So I had some ideas to solve this problem. It takes a little setup, but I really wanted to figure it out. Let's jump into Premiere Pro and see what we can do. So I found an old project that I did a couple years ago that was fairly complicated that I could replicate this problem. My first idea was to use the metadata inside Premiere Pro to find offline clips. So if you don't know that um, in your project panel running across the top is different columns of metadata. And if you right click on that, you can open up the metadata display. So in here is all kinds of metadata you can use to sort or find things in your project. So right here are metadata that's already being displayed, label, frame rate, all of that stuff. There's one in here called status and I'm going to use the search bar to find it. And it's already been selected. So let's hit OK and if we scroll sideways here, we can find the status and you can sort that. So as you can see these are all online clips and if we go in here, we could start searching through all of our bins of footage. And as you can see, it's getting pretty complicated of different things um, that we have here. And you can see that these are all online. None of these are offline. So the next thing I was thinking was, well, let's set up a search bin. So I use search bins quite a bit and they're pretty powerful. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to right click and create a new search bin. And over here in the metadata, we're going to find status. And we're going to type in offline because we want to find offline clips. Boom, there we go. So the thing about this is it always puts the search bin in the highest level. So I always drag it down into my search bin folder here. So now we have a search bin for offline status video clips. And if I double click on it, Oh boy, I see a lot of offline stuff. There's different reasons why these clips are offline. It's a really old project. I don't have time to go through it, but the one I want to find is this uh, clip right here. It's actually a JPEG image. Um, and I wanna find it in my timeline over here somewhere. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go back to my metadata. I'm gonna right click metadata display. What I'm going to do up here is I'm going to type in usage. And as you can see, there's a couple places I can add check marks next to video usage and audio usage. Right now, I'm just going to click video usage and I'm going to click OK. So that's been added to our metadata columns here. And if I scroll over, I should be able to find where it's been added video usage right here. So if I click and drag this over here, I can bring it closer to the name column. So we have the video usage column right here. So we're getting closer. We're going to do this. So if I click on this, you can sort your video usage in different ways. Um, right here, um, is the clip that we want to find in our timeline and underneath video usage it's showing that it's being used two times in different timelines probably um, somewhere I don't know um, but the thing is is there's this little carrot this downward carrot this little downward arrow I'm not sure what to call it if we click on that it's gonna show us well I just discovered something interesting that if I open this in its own panel, in its own window, I cannot select the projects. But if I go back up a level and I have all of these in the folder view, 
I can now select the project. And if I select one of these, let's do this one, you can see that now my current time indicator, the CTI, has moved across the timeline and has chosen where exactly that offline clip is in my project. Now if I go back over here, I can click on version 1 and now version 1 of my project is open, a different timeline is open, and if I zoom in the CTI, the current time indicator, is right there at that um, at that uh, spot where the offline clip is at. So I've confirmed that this offline clip is actually being used in my timeline. Whew, that was a lot. All of that to say, sometimes you run into problems and you have to find interesting ways to solve them or figure them out. Uh, this is how I solved this problem, and I hope if you watch this all the way through, that you learn something maybe about how you can use search bins or how you can use metadata to help organize or find your clips um, throughout your projects, especially ones that are a little complicated.